Welcome back to the Craft Parenting Podcast. Podcast about two Cincinnati craft beer lovers with a parenting problem. Also, it's the show where we, where we dance in the intro. There is no we in this. Or reluctantly dance in the intro. That wasn't even reluctant. Like, I had to force you, and you still even weren't doing it, so... Well, and we also wear sweaters, although if someone didn't get the memo. <laughs> one, you didn't bring me one downstairs. <laughs> you and were two, wearing something. <laughs> I'm cold. You're cold. Well, um, the vents were closed, oh. and I opened them, so that should help. Well, it's also the house is set to 70, but it says that it's currently at 72, so the furnace ain't kicking on for a little bit. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I mean, bumped it up, I thought. Uh, the the kids are running around like maniacs earlier, so it probably warmed the house up. And I made more bread. You made more bread. It's very tasty. Well, we are back once more for back. the to talk about the higher gravity beer vent calendar. Mm-hmm. And we are on day 20. <gasps> and guess what today is? It's the 19th. It's the The 20th. 20th. (laughs) Oh, it's the 20th. It actually is the 20th because uh, we went out yesterday to Colchonate. We did. It was fun. Yeah. I liked that. We invited ourselves or we guilt tripped people to invite us. I mean, (laughs) they enjoyed our presence. So it was fine. Yeah. Uh, We'll go with that. Uh, But if you are wondering what higher gravity is, if you want to know what beer vent is, um, episode 20 or episode uh, 145, day 20 may not be the the best place to start. But we're happy you're here. We're happy you're here um, for sure. But we have 21 other episodes. You might want to go back and in the feed and uh, start on day one. Isn't it just 20 other episodes because I this episode know. doesn't count? Numbers are confusing. You don't math. I do not math. <laughs> uh, without further ado, what beer do we have for day 20 of the Higher Gravity Beer Van Calendar? It is Pierre Noel from Browery de Ranc or something like that. And this is another Belgian beer, huh? It is. It is. It's like <laughs> our fourth one. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a few Belgian beers. We've had quite a few. We've all been different. Yes. So um, that's the thing with the Higher Gravity Beer Vent Calendar. They may come from the same country or the same brewery. I don't think we've had any repeat breweries, though. No, um, we have not. But it may be the same family of style but it's mostly it's like all different styles well this is an exceptional x miss beer according to the label and it's an only it's only an 11.2 ounce bottle so it's a small boy um but it's seven percent and the description from rate beer or beer advocate i don't remember which site i got this from is Pierre Noel is a Christmas ale, though very different from any other Christmas ales you might know. While most Christmas ales are rich and sweet, this one is amber-colored, 7% volume alcohol strong, and tastes quite bitter. The complex taste is completed with the addition of licorice. In the recipe, we can also find pale malt, Munich malt, caramel malt, brewer's gold hops, and hollertau hops. Trying to figure out who gets the rest of this. (laughs) Because uh, someone was strategic in her uh, choice of glassware. They are the exact same glasses. <laughs> they are both mad tree glasses. Now, I'm not sure if we got these mad tree glasses at the same time or if it was at different times. But we have two identical glasses. Not even just they are the same shape glass. They are identical as much as you can get with glassware. Wow. Well. I think you may have one slightly, (laughs) but I'll let it go because we might be here a little bit (laughs) to catch up. (laughs) We might, um, but 
Yeah, so maybe, I'll, maybe I'll actually go upstairs and change my sweater between takes. Uh, very cloudy. Mm-hmm. And maybe some like floaters. It's it does look like it has some floaters in it. Floaters. It's a. I can't see your face through it. It's a dark golden color, mm-hmm. amber, yeah, as the description said. Some like hot amber. A very floopy head. Yep. I can get uh, the hops on the nose. Yeah, it smells like beer. I'm not getting any licorice yet, but I haven't tasted anything. I'm waiting for Joe to taste it. I can see the bubbles, so it's very carbonated. Well, and because this glass has a mad tree at the bottom of it that helps release the bubbles. What? (laughs) The mad tree logo is etched in the bottom of the glass to help give the CO2 bubble something to latch onto and then pop. Is that a thing? Or that is, is that, a thing. Is that a made-up marketing thing? Uh, like a lot of breweries do it, usually with their logo. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Um, Good news is I'm not getting a ton of black licorice, and I don't like licorice. So I feel like I would find it right away if it was there. No, I don't. Get licorice. I get hoppy. Yeah. It's a different ho- kind of hoppy than the, you know, like an IPA though. Mm-hmm. So it's not like you're looking at Christmas tree <laughs> necessarily. No. Yeah. And it's like, I would associate this beer with Christmas time. It seems like it's a nice winter beer. It's not necessarily something that I would want to drink out like on the porch in the summer. Not a lawnmower beer. No, it's it. You can tell that um, there's a lot going on in it. Mm-hmm. It's a bit heavy. I was about to say that. It's heavy. Um, you read my mind. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not like a summer something I would necessarily want in the summer. Mm-hmm. Like an IPA, it doesn't really sit on the stomach. As it's not heavy on the stomach. Mm-hmm. It's crisp. Um, this is not really crisp. This is not a crisp boy, as no. some would say. No, it's not. Um, the head is still very floofy. Yeah. It's very pretty. Um, makes me want a bubble bath. It, I don't know what makes it a Christmas sale or a Christmas beer. It's an exceptional Xmas beer. Unpasteurized and unfiltered. Hence the floaties. And on their website, like the main page. Yeah, let's talk about the brewery. I need to go back to the main page. Home. So they say it's beer made with whole hops. And they have a lot of beers. Yeah. Um. I wonder. No, I don't think so. I don't remember what he brought. One of the beer tasting class days, he brought a. Uh, sour beer that I'm pretty sure was Belgian, but I don't remember anymore. Mm. Um, so the organization, we'll call it, started around 1930 as a beer bottling and lemonade manufacturing facility at a place I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I got no idea. <laughs> You do not come here because we know how to say Belgian words. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are not that. The um, wrong podcast. <laughs> yep. So the daughter and son-in-law took over the business in the late 40s and started the brand Valpo for their soft drinks. And one of their kids, I guess, probably... Starts experimenting with brewing beer in 1981 and then takes over the business in 1986 with his brother. Okay. And they <clears throat> stop all lemonade facility stuff in 1989. <clears throat> and they get more into beer. So were um, they already brewing beer? They were bottling beer. It doesn't say anything about brewing beer and still at this point does not say anything about them brewing, just bottling because a brewing was a hobby for them. 
Okay. And then in the mid nineties, they start to brew at an existing brewery. And in just one year, they sold 9,000 liters of Goldenberg, one of their beers. <clears throat> and even though they sold 9,000 liters of beer, they, um, oh, wait, no, this is a different guy. They meet the guy who's in the founder of Hop, H O P, which I'm not sure what that is. So, yeah, me neither. <laughs> So they have a long history. They do. And in, so then at 96, they decide they're going the, so Guido, who's the guy from Hop, and Nino, who's the son, or who's the grandson of one of the founding members of the company, decide they're going to start brewing beer together. Mm -hmm. And they call it um, Brewery Nino Baselli. Oh, wait, no. The brewery was Nino Baselli, and then it turns into Brewery Day Rank, which is the name of the brewery now. It's very confusing. Okay. I'm sure uh, something translated this. It's possible. And 96 is also when this beer is launched. Pierre Noel. Yep. And mm. the first batch of XX Bitter, which is another beer that they have. Mm -hmm. Um, well, that's they, good. Yeah, they opened up another brewery in 2005. And they have another, they have a bunch of beers that come out in 2009. And then eventually, so in 2010, he finally is full time brewing beer. I'm very confused by this. But I guess it makes sense. Um, and the last big update that they have is from 2015. Okay. And the annual production is 5,000 hectoliters or 500,000 liters. And about 50% of that is, is exported to 20 other countries. And by now, a.k.a. nearly 10 years ago, six people are employed at the brewery and plans are made to expand production to 10,000 hectoliters per year. So to double their production. So they're not like super big. They're kind of small boy. They produce a lot though. It sounds They like. do. They have a tour, which is 180 euros for one to 20 people. So if you want to go on your own, it's the same as if you're going to bring 20 people with you. <laughs> so maybe just, or if you're going to bring 19 people with you, because that would make 20. Mm -hmm. So bring a bunch of friends with you. I guess so. Yeah. You get four beer tastings. That's still a lot for a beer yeah. tour. Though they do have individual, you can, they have regular visiting times, and that's only seven euros per person. Hmm. Huh. So that I don't, that's like 200 bucks. I have no idea. I, I don't remember anymore because that was probably more ages ago. Oh, I don't know what the exchange is these days. Yeah. And every Saturday they have a 2.30 p.m. guided visit in Dutch, a 3.30 p.m. guided visit in French, and a 4.30 p.m. guided visit in English. So if for some reason you're in Belgium, Belgium and you're going to visit this brewery, Make sure you pick the tour that matches the language that you know best or the one that you know worst. If you want to try to learn it <laughs> and then maybe get really confused. Okay. <laughs> and the tap rooms only open on Fridays and Saturdays. Okay. Uh, what else about this beer? Final thoughts? I mean, you finished yours because I was talking a bunch. Yeah. So um, it's tasty. Yeah, I kind of drank it quickly. But, um, I was really scared about the licorice. But I don't get it, so I don't know if it's just the hops are there and that's masking it. Yeah. If my brain is dead because I had tasty bread earlier. Hmm. I did I not know. have a tasty bread. No, I hid it in the microwave from Zoe. I bet she was looking for that. She probably was. 
I made herb bread. <laughs> what else did you make earlier this week? I made pizza dough. And now I'm not allowed to not make oh. pizza dough. <laughs> I have, it turned out. <laughs> yeah, I have done this to myself. I now have to make lots of things from scratch. <laughs> I mean, the bread machine does make it easy. So there is that. But today I learned if you don't put the mixer inside the bread machine before you hit go, it's not going to make your bread. <laughs> it's not going to mix. <laughs> no. It's okay. I added it in and then started everything over again. Mm. I didn't have to dump anything. I was worried for a second that I was going to, but it's fine. Everything's fine. We're That's fine good. over here. How are you? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, final thoughts. Uh, this is a good beer. Mm -hmm. uh, I never heard of this brand before. I must live under a rock, I guess. I do like how Santa is hugging a hop cone. <laughs> That makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did, did, this is a good one. A good uh, Belgian beer. Uh, this is the year of the Belgian beer, apparently. Yeah. What's up with that? Or as Marco would say, what's up with that? <laughs> um, so uh, if you want to continue this journey, we'll be back here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, you can follow us on all the social media platforms we are on facebook instagram youtube um rumble if you are on the youtube x smash that like button slam subscribe ring that notification bell <laughs> and I, I am at craft parenting joe on instagram and i am at caroline creates crafts on instagram and uh thank you for joining us we will be back here tomorrow Bye.